Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescaserates.com. Happy Saturday. Yesterday, that dropped. 2020 Panini Chronicles Baseball. We did, a, we did a few of those, some of those. Just some random team breaks yesterday too. And now we got another Pick Your Team coming at you on Saturday the 26th from a fresh case, Pick Your Team 3. Big thanks to all of these lovely people here for getting into the action. Thank you. If you see a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that in a blaster break. That video is already uploaded. should be right next to the break video for this. If you just want to see that. Chris Walker, Last Spot Mojo star next to his name. A little extra, extra magic could happen for the person who gets the last team and finishes off a break. Um, all card ship, by the way. So the first half of this case will be break three, and then the second half will be break four, which is in the store right now. No filler break yet, I don't think. But uh, if you want to sell that out straight up, we, we definitely can. Or if you want to wait for the filler, there will be one. This box is empty out kind of awkwardly here. How did these end up on their side like this? Okay, so on the left side, there's stacks of four and four to make eight. On the other side is eight as well. You can see it on the top camera, too. I'm going to select a die. I'm going to select that Vegas die right there. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the side we'll be doing right up here. This we will save for pick your team five. Check that picker team four. So I'm gonna write PYT four. I don't wanna mix them up with any of the random team breaks that we have. The fire department's getting ready. Because we're gonna about to pull some fire here. We just have them on standby. Just have them on standby. All right. Good luck. Now remember, all card ship. I know there's a lot of variations and different designs and all that sort of stuff. We'll try to. We'll definitely, definitely sleeve and top load the uh, the Luis Roberts more immediately. But I think all the numbered cards I'm just going to set aside, and our team will have them sleeved and top loaded before they head out. Just in, in the interest of time, just so we can try to get to some more breaks tonight. Save a little bit of time on that. All right, there's some Aquino right here and some Aquino right here. Aristides Aquino, 39 out of 99 for Arthur and the Reds. There you go, Arthur. This might go into a different top loader here. He joined the filler break, got randomized the Reds, in Pick Your Team 3. And gets a rookie auto, that nice origins design of Aristides Aquino. Who I think is is playing, is did get called up, back up again, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago maybe. And uh, man, he's supposed to be future star for the, for the Reds. The Spectra cards are really nice too. There you go, yeah, there you go. Great day already, Arthur, exactly. We'll sleeve up that Gavin Lux as well. There's Alex Bregman, and we got a Crusade. Pete Alonzo to 75, that's for Patrick in the Mets. Also won that in a team random. Out of 50, Rafael Devers, kind of hard to see the dark blue against the brown there. 
And then we've got a Lorenzo Kane, 45 out of 49. Nice one for the Brewers. That will be for Craig McGinnis. Nice Bo Bichette. We'll take care of that. Vlad Guerrero, Mendick, and Keston Hira, 5 out of 25. Nice, nice relic there for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Craig McGinnis. Got randomized the Brewers in the team random. I know, why don't they make Spectre Baseball? Stop teasing us, Panini. I want it, the people want it. They really got to really get that taken care of. There's Josh Rojas to 199. Jersey and autograph for Arthur. Arthur Peru bought his Diamondback straight up. Gets the Jersey Auto, Josh Rojas on card. Yeah, make Spectra. Look at this. 134 out of 199. Arthur, do we, do we like Josh Rojas? Is he good? There's Michael Lorenzen. Red ink autograph. 92 out of 99. Guess what? For Arthur. This is a personal box for Arthur? What's going on here? There you go. I think he got like three quarters of the hits in this. It's Tony Gonsolin, rookie silver, and Fernando Tatis Jr. to 299. That's right. See, we, we, we've turned that we've turned that frown upside down. Oh, now we want the one of one. Wow, that's it. Ha, <laughs> TJ. You know what? You're right. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't even spot that. Look at this. TJ saying he doesn't think. That's not Tony Gonsolin. Unless it's like an old photo of him. Does he even have a beard like that? He, he more has a, has a mustache, right? Maybe it is him. Mm, no, maybe it is him. I don't know. I think of... I think of Gonsolin more like... I'm going to switch screens just a second here. I think of Gonsolin more like that, but there's a picture of Gonsolin that looks like that. But he's mo he's mostly like that, although he's got that going on there too. In my head, he's more that. It kind of doesn't look like him though. There's Bryce Harper. No, but at first glance, that does not look. I don't. I still don't think it looks like him. Oh, you can't kip. Oh, well, that's a shame. Can you put like some of them together? We have Chris Bryant, Spectra, and our first Luis Robert. Rookie card that'll go to the White Sox. That'll be for Richard. We got Dal Lugo, playbook autograph for the Strohs. That'll be for Jared. Okay, that's nice, Kip. So you got the Gordon, the, the Melvin Gordon, score at least two touchdowns. Dwayne Haskins first touchdown. Justin Herbert, touchdown, first touchdown. All right. 
<laughs> okay. I love that parlay, Kim. One of these days, well, it's going to hit. Five to win twenty-five, to almost $26,000. I'm rooting for you, Kip. I want that to happen. There, there's there's maybe Tony Gonsolin again. That goes to Robert and the Dodgers to, to 49. Got the Dodgers in that team random. Bo Bichette, Luis Robert, Nico Horner. Put in the other, other pile. They get sleeved and top loaded. Luis Robert will sort out right now. Another one for Richard. We got timeless treasures, Luis Robert. Bryce thinks that could be what, a, a Tony Gonsolin twin, maybe? Yeah, it's possible. Maybe one Tony Gonsolin just has a mustache, and the other Tony Gonsolin has a beard. That's how you tell those twins apart. There's Luis Robert again. That's the only way you tell them apart. And there's a, a silver ink autograph. That's pretty cool. Sean Murphy, three out of 15 for the A's. Wit with the A's, got the A's straight up. You think, you think Tony Gonson with a beard is like, is like his evil twin? Like mustache Tony Gonsolin is is like is like the good guy, loves cats and you know and pitches for the Dodgers. And then whenever he has a bad start, it's probably his evil twin. There's nine out of ten Christian Yelich, and we got a Corey Seager relic back there, Spectra design, also for Robert Runkle. That's to 99. TJ, we've got to find TJ some Rangers here. Another Bo Bichette and a Nico Horner, Red Wave to 199. All of those Cubbies will go to Debra, got randomized to the Cubs. I feel like there are some. So I'm trying to look at what the playoff situation is here. The Cardinals and Giants can each, according to MLB.com, Cardinals and Giants can each clinch a postseason spot by either winning two or two more games, or any combination of a victory and a loss by the Phillies and Brewers. Wow. There. What? What are the tiebreakers? Tiebreakers are different in 2020. For rules on this, read a completely different page. I'm not going to do that. Read the key tiebreaker sections below. Oh man, there's so many scenarios. All right, never mind. I was going to read all this, but we're but we're not. <laughs> I think as it stands now, the Rays would play the Blue Jays, White Sox would play the A's, Astros would play the Twins, the Yankees would play the Indians. In the NL, the Giants would play the Dodgers, eight versus one seed, and then Reds, Braves, Marlins, Cubs, Cardinals, Padres. That's what we're, that's what we're looking at in the best of three wild card series, which is kind of a kind of a wild way to do things. Now, I'm not sure if I like that for the future, but I think it's interesting now. All right, there's a Rookies and Stars Luis Robert right there on top for the White Sox. And all of the NL games are in Texas. They're either in Arlington or in Houston. And all the AL games, we've got a set of games here in LA, actually. And then in San Diego as well. And then the World Series, the ALCS will be in San Diego, NLCS in Texas, in Dallas, Arlington. And then the World Series will also be in Arlington. 
And there are, speaking of the Giants, there's Rico Garcia. They have a, they've got a shot, I think, at the eighth seed to play the Dodgers. That would be pretty, pretty spicy to start off the playoffs. A little division rivalry here. And that's to 199. Giants, David Rodriguez has the Giants. Got a Logan Allen autograph, Timeless Treasures auto for the Tribe, Cleveland. That goes to Anthony and the Indians. Number to 96 right there, 81 out of 96. Luis Robert right there. And there's a Freddie Freeman green to 50 in that Phoenix design. That'll be for the Braves, Robert. Freddie Freeman, I think Freddie Freeman has MVP possibilities. He's been playing really well. There's an autograph for the Pirates, Cole Tucker. That'll be for Chris Parent and the Buckos. Nice numbered 157 out of 199. Nice Justin Dunn white uh, parallel, white prism, white mosaic to one, one out of 25. Mariners, that'll be for Richard. There's Longoria. A Luis Robert in that obsidian design, that looks pretty cool. That'll be for Richard uh, F. and the White Sox. Got the White Sox straight up. All these Roberts do add up. I'm sure some more than others, but they're pretty cool. Abraham Toro to 100. Anthony Rendon to 49. These greens are not numbered, by the way, in case you were wondering. There's Gavin Lux in that limited design for the Dodgers. Juan Soto, Spectra jersey. Yeah, that Obsidian is really is, is really cool. They got to make Obsidian baseball too. Juan Soto relic going to Patrick got randomized the Nats. Next one. I thought I had like a. I thought I saw MLB had like a nice little bracket that we can look at, but maybe I don't, I don't see it right now. I don't know. Well, MLB postseason is about to start, folks, and that that is always that is always exciting. So I think. Oh, there's the bracket. I see it now. Um, I think the AL is already set. I think there may be some seeding things that might be in play between a couple teams and that I'm not too sure about. Maybe the A's and Twins could flip seeds if, depending on who wins or loses. Maybe Cleveland could advance. Yankees, possibly. I think everything else seems to be, seems to be spoken for. Um, but, yeah, but there's, I think the Giants aren't locked in yet. I think Phillies and the Brewers still have a chance to, to edge into the playoffs. So that'll be pretty interesting. Playoffs are gonna be starting soon. And there's playoff, playoff baseball, pretty exciting. There's Jonathan Daza. It's a nice looking patch. Four colors in there. 
And a nice on-card autograph for the Rockies. That'll be for Richard A. with that one. Thirty-eight out of ninety-nine. Looks great. We got Derek Fisher to fifty for the uh, Astros. Jared got randomized the Strohs. That is numbered bottom right corner right there. Nine out of fifty. There's uh, Freddie Freeman, 6 out of 10. Nice low number on that Freddie Freeman. Timeless Treasures, Robert Runkle. And Isan Diaz, jersey and autograph. Marlins are in, folks. But they're actually the, currently, they're the sixth seed. Lost over 100 games last year. Just a bit over 500 this year. And they're in, they're in the playoffs. 87 out of 99, Miami, Robert Primrose with the fish. I mean, in this weird COVID year, <laughs> what if they win it all? That'd be, that'd be crazy. All right, nice Luis Robert. Once again for Richard F. and the White Sox. Got a nice silver Gavin Lux right here too for the Dodgers. Robert Runkle. Bo Bichette. More Luis Robert. Aaron Nola. That Spectra design, which I really love. Luis Roberts' teammate, Danny Mendick, and Dylan Cease. Rookies and Stars, Gavin Lux, and an Aaron Judge relic. Piece of his jersey. Yankees. That goes to Chris Walker. Are the Yankees getting healthy just in time for the playoffs? Anyone wants to see a healthy Yankees team in the playoffs? They're dangerous. More Gavin Lux. Another. This is a nice Luis Robert. A mosaic base, Luis Robert. And they got to they got to do mosaic baseball too. Mosaic baseball would be hot. And there's Glaber Day right here. Glaber Torres to two ninety nine. All right, halfway through this half case break, this is pick your team three. Here comes the the next half. P.S. The Indians hold a tiebreaker over the White Sox by virtue of head -to -head, uh, their head-to-head -head record. Dodgers have clinched home field advantage through the World Series. All right, so as it stands now, Tampa Bay Blue Jays, who does everyone have there? This is in San Diego. I say, I say Tampa Bay. They're just too good. Yankees, Indians, healthy Yankees team. I mean, they got to advance over the Tribe. Astros, Twins. I think the Twins could definitely do it. And then White Sox, A's. If Luis Roberts gets hot again, A's could be a really scary team. Or uh, White Sox could be a scary team. I think A's will ultimately advance. Let's open a couple at a time. Dodgers, Giants, obviously Dodgers. I'm a homer. I don't think the Giants have a chance. Cardinals, Padres. I got to go Padre. Padres and Dodgers would then meet each other. That would be a great NLDS. 
Marlins Cubs. I think that might be closer than Cubs fans would want it to be. I think Cubs have to advance. Darvish is pitching too well. You know. And then Reds Braves. It's gotta be Braves. Although Sonny Gray's been been back on track after a little stint on the IL. So if their pitching clicks. Sky High says Padres will beat the Cardinals. He's a Cardinals fan, but not a fan of him this year. Carlos Martinez on the IL. That's a plus because he can't stand him. We got, speaking of the Padres, there's Ronald Bolanos. 40 out of 99 for the Friars. That's going to be for John McCall. Yeah, if the Dodgers get past the Giants and if the Padres get past the Cardinals, that's an that's a, uh, NLDS series between the Dodgers and the Padres, and they've had some, some really fun battles in the regular season this year, so I think that that would be that'd be some must-see TV. I think all those games are on FS1. We got Jeff McNeil. Jeff McNeil for the Metropolitans. Patrick with the Mets. That extra round is going to be interesting. I feel like the I feel like MLB playoffs are already difficult enough to navigate, you know. But now there's another extra round, right, Bryce? Uh, TBS has the AL, and FS1 Fox has the NL. And then Fox has the World Series. Jordan Yamamoto, 91 out of 99. Miami Marlins, that'll be for Robert. Robert Primrose. Nick Senzel for the Reds. George Springer to 99 for the Astros. Gavin Lux for the Dodgers. Alzale, Lux again. And Ronald Acuna Jr. Relic for Robert Runkel and the Braves. Not numbered, but a good looking card there. And then we've got a Justin Dunn Mosaic Blue to 99 and a Jesus Lazardo to 199 for the A's, Wit with the A's. There's Bo Bichette. And there's Joe Adele, Jersey and Autograph, Prospects Jersey and Auto for the Halos. That's Richard F. with the Angels. Angels had a slim, slim chance. They needed the Rangers to sweep the Astros, and they needed, and the Angels need to sweep the Dodgers. Rangers did their part. Angels were leading for a little bit and then blew it. Their bullpen. They got to. They, they got to work on that bullpen. There's Bo Bichette. Walker Bueller looked healthy in his first start after coming off the IL. Zach Collins, seven out of eight. I knew that looked a little different. Nice low number there for the White Sox, Richard F. Just a few off the train whistle. And a nice Tatis Jr. to 99. I love that cracked ice contenders design. Rodon Alvarez, Luis Roberts, scorecard, Corey Seager. Prism, Hyper maybe, Spectra, Neon Pink, Hyper. Too many names, can't keep track of all the different names. Luis Robert, Richard F. Gavin Lux Green. Evan Longoria to 99. 
piece of his jersey, Longo, going to David Rodriguez and the Giants. Ooh, at the moment, I think we will be facing the old Dodgers. Gavin Lux. And then we have another heavy cardstock card back here. It's Logan Allen. Three color patch and autograph. Love that Spectra design. Another one for the Indians, Anthony with the tribe. Twenty-seven out of forty-nine. We've got a Daniel Ponce de Leon for the Cardinals. That's going to go to Mark L. Who got the Cardinals in the, uh, the randomizer? Not numbered. And we've got a Dylan Cease right here, 20 out of 99 for the White Sox. There he is again, number to 299 this time. All right, two more boxes to go. All right. Well, what does everyone think is going to – who does who's everyone see in the World Series? Now, if you go chalk, I suppose you would think it would be – I don't know. There's a healthy Yankees team. Yankee, Yankees Dodgers maybe, Rays Dodgers. Something like that. But what would a what would a crazy World Series matchup be in this crazy COVID times? Is there a crazy World Series matchup that could happen? Could it be like White Sox? Yeah, White Sox Marlins? That would be a wild one. White Sox Padres could be interesting. Yeah, what about yeah, Luis Robert? Versus Tatis Jr., White Sox, Padres. Listen, if I if if my Dodgers aren't going to be in there, I'd, I'd I want to see a fun matchup. You know, I don't want to see like, I don't want to see Cleveland, Miami is probably not the World Series I want to see. But White Sox, Padres, yeah, Sky is saying that. Zach is saying I could get that could get some good ratings. What would, what would what would some other fun matchups be? I wouldn't mind seeing like the Blue Jays, Blue Jays World Series, Blue Jays Braves, right? Boba Shed, Vlad Guerrero Jr. versus Acuna, Ozzy Albi, so on and so forth. Yeah, well, Jeremy, I think I think. Luis Robert, a couple of other guys just need to just need to get a little hot, and I think I, I think they could be a scary playoff team. That's it. That, that team could turn it around really quickly. Oh, the pitching's failing him too. I thought Luis Robert was struggling a little bit too, but mostly the pitching, huh? Yeah, maybe get those losses out of the way before the playoffs start. You don't want to go into playoffs too hot. The Starling Marte, Relic for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. What would a matchup, Sky High is saying, I want to see a matchup that baseball purists would hate. What, what, what matchup would that be? 49 out of 99. Probably be any team with young, loud players. <laughs> to 199, Jesus Lazardo. Juan Soto to 25, and Logan Webb, 14 out of 99, Giants. That will be for David and the Giants. And we've got a Brad Keller, 5 out of 50, for the Royals, 
Kansas City going out to Anthony. Picked up the Royals straight up. Actually, that would be White Sox Padres, right? Wouldn't that be the World Series that Purist would just hate? I could just imagine some some old like grandpa watching those like two teams and be like, "Hey, that's not how baseball's supposed to be played." More Luis Robert. Limited Gavin Lux, rookies and stars Luis Robert. Another Gavin Lux. It's an autograph, jersey and auto. Gavin Lux. Nice. Robert Runkle. Got the Dodgers in that uh, that blaster box, that randomizer. I wonder if Gavin Lux would have started this season out of 199. If he uh, if he would have been in, in the running for Rookie of the Year. Joey Gallo for the Rangers, Spectra base card. Gotta make that Spectra. Zach Collins. Aaron Nola, Phillies. Bo Bichette, Green. Sean Murphy, Aristides Aquino. And another box, the final box coming up. Out of 50, we got Donnie Walton, and we got for Patrick, Tress Barrera. For the Nats, nice three-color patch and on-card autograph, Patrick Sue with the Nationals. Six out of 49. Nice low number there. Luis Robert season ticket. Luis Robert in that classics design. Steven Strasburg flipped around because that's his autograph. Nice. There you go, Patrick. Six out of ten. Strasburg auto. Rookies and stars autograph. He never really got this season going. But he'll have plenty of rest this year. And I'll do a quick little, uh, the quick little recap at the end, ladies and gentlemen. There's no randomizers for me to do right now. Nothing like that. I think we're good. So yeah, I'll do a quick recap after, after the, the final card down here. Yeah, TJ, where are those Rangers? He's looking for Rangers. Well, there's some base cards and some other parallels here and there, but nothing huge just yet. Green Scope, Brewstar Graderall, Twins Edition. Nice patch. Twins, Richard A. Got the Twins. Seven out of 25. Nice low number on that. Very hard thrower. Good addition to the Dodgers bullpen. Thanks, Minnesota. I think there could be apparently a delight in the clubhouse. He's always got a smile on his face. And just willing to do anything. He's like, if they want me to start, I'll start. They want me to relieve, I'll relieve. Middle relief, I'll do that. Close games, I'll do it. So it seems like a good, good dude, a good addition to the bullpen. Big reason why the Dodgers bullpen has been a lot better this year. Six out of ninety-nine. Matt Chapman for the A's. That'll be for Witt. Got Ronald Acuna Jr., Tatis Jr. to 299. It's a cool looking card. Clevenger, Jordan, JD Martinez, Spectra. We got Domingo Leba Mosaic, Mike Trout Phoenix. We have one more thing here. Maybe this one. We got one more thing here. It's Gavin Lux, Luis Robert, and Eloy Jimenez. Piece of the White Sox pinstripe in there for Richard F. And another Eloy Jimenez, or I'm sorry, another Luis Robert card for you, too. So this might go into this top over here. 
In a slightly bluish pinstripe, I think, one of their alternate uniforms. All right, so there's we got a legacy Gavin Lux, status Gavin Lux. There's Barrera again, and we're closing out with a Phoenix Fernando Tatis Jr. for the Padres. Excellent break, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks everyone for getting in. That was Pick Your Team Three. Pick Your Team Four. Let me take a look at Pick Your Team Four. Is there a filler for Pick Your Team Four yet? There is. So now Pick Your Team 4 is all sold out. We pulled out all the teams in Pick Your Team 4. They're in a blaster box, so you can win some teams. Looks like it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 of the 30 spots are going to get teams in that blaster box. Then we can do the second half of that case, jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, let's take from uh, the last box to the first box. Pretty nice break overall. Some great designs, a lot of Luis Roberts. That Strasburg autograph was cool. Cool Gavin Lux jersey and autograph. The Origins design, really love that Origins look as well. Logan Allen, plenty of Luis Roberts. All of those add up, nice Joe Adele. Have some pretty excellent stuff, nice relics. Another great patch right here, too, for the Rockies. That Luis Robert is also pretty neat. Cole Tucker. Tony Gonsolin. May or may not be Tony Gonsolin. Red Ink Auto for Michael Lorenzen. And then we started off with a nice autograph, too. That Aristides Aquino Origins Edition. And there you go. That was Pick Your Team number three. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for break number four. Bye-bye.